What's up, everybody? Dark G here, Feed the Fire Films, and um, I just wanted to show everybody, give a little background to how I'm making the visuals on my um, Sacred Life Music meditation videos. I got this program here called Magic, and um, it's an awesome little program. As you can see, I got I got this whole thing already all set up for you to to uh, experience. But really, you have to start with one little module on its own, like this, right? Okay, and uh, yeah, I guess I could just switch it to the microphone for now. Not, now, you see how see how that's working? How it's just picking up the sound from my mic and um. From here, you know, you add more effects, like the tread, and you trail it so it trails, and then I scaled it so it fills the whole screen, and then I kaleidoscope it so we have six of them. See how see how that's working here? It's kind of cool actually, and then you give it um, a sound synced RGB scale deal see like I guess if uh, I would need a higher tone yeah it it scales with the music and that's just like a covering I got going on right now this is like a, a top layer which gets put down into the to the main thing this box here this translate box I use it like a junction box in a way because you see how this is all connected to each other and then it comes into here and you got this whole section here it's all connected and comes in here and it goes to my final trails effect and from there I can add other things in the background in a way so once I set up the waveform that you see here I uh, basically just shut that off and I'll come and I'll load an image in one of my images and I'll translate that to make it like this like so you see how it's kinda jumping with my voice or whatever it's moving around a bit and then you wanna make it do this to sync with sound and, and react you see how it's reacting <laughs> it's kinda crazy man and then of course you kaleidoscope that Ooh. and this is what you get there you know and that's basically my my center piece which goes the middle layer and I turn the translate on and that allows me to adjust the access on it on the whole on the whole deal the wave like here's the waveform now you see now you see that right and that's my two things run together here and I put more trails on it yeah and then after that I stick this star field in the background here and you make the hue adjust with the sound and you basically you got your your thing set here you know granted I I set the I set these settings you know I, I've been working on this for about a, a couple hours I guess I just wanted to um, run through it so people understand how I'm creating this stuff just a little background thing if you're into this kind of thing man definitely check this program out magic I'll, it'll be a, it'll be a link in the description. Um, I, I've emailed with the guy, the creator of it, the guy Eric. He's really cool, and um, definitely check it out if you're into this kind of stuff, man. Because, like, yeah, I synced it to my microphone here, but I have a song, a new song I wrote. Like now, you see the reaction has stopped to my mic because it's not picking up my webcam mic anymore. So if I click play on here it'll react to the music mm 
And there you have it. That's basically how it's done. Um, there's a few other components you would need, like you, you actually, on a technical note, you can't export with the audio file like that just with this one program you need some hardware to a uh, screen capture hardware from your your video card and you know I, I just don't have like 50 or 60 or 70 bucks to go to go get one so the way I do it for now is exactly how I'm making this video here I'm using a screen recorder so I'll screen record in real time and I'll click play on this track and screen record this shot you see right here at 960 by 570 at uh, 30 frames per second for now uh, later on I'll be higher resolution man when I get my hardware straight but for now that's all I can really do or just render you know what you see here on the screen you can render this without audio that's you know super high def man is it's really really nice man you know and i guess if you're a band or whatever you can just have this set like the way i set it before to my microphone and just set your visual up and load it and run it on a full monitor screen or whatever and everything will respond to whatever noise you're making man you know it's it's kinda really wicked to play with if you're into this stuff man but anyway just wanted to share it may look a little complicated to some people all these effects and and modules and all that stuff but really it, it's it's kinda like um it's like an animated Photoshop in a way. It's not that that super super complicated. It just appears. It can be intimidating at first, but really, it's not that complicated if you just take some time and and play with it. It's really really cool, man. Really cool. Props to Eric at uh at Magic, man. You go, brother. <laughs> But anyway, with that, I'll say peace, love, and gratitude, and namaste to all of you.